Well, welcome back. If you follow the stock market, you always hear about the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Recently, they made a change. Here's what you need to know. We're joined today by financial expert J.B. Bryan back with us again. J.B., looking forward to having a great conversation with you about the Dow. We're going to kind of take a, a broad approach here at understanding the Dow, but there have been changes, recent changes. And the Dow Jones Industrial Average is something that you hear every day, Jessica. Everybody talks about it, right? It is like... With, even when you're thinking about your retirement account at work, and if you look at the news and you and, and Jessica says, oh, the Dow Jones is down, then you automatically assume, right, that you've lost some money too. But so it is definitely an indices that is popular. I mean, Jessica, it started slightly before you were born in 1896. <laughs> So recently then, it's a yeah, recent Yeah, yeah, right. It, it goes back <laughs> even before me. So think about the Dow Jones has been around a long time, but the Dow Jones Industrial Average, believe it or not, the lineup only includes 30 stocks. And there's less than 20 of them that are from the original set. So... And here recently, Jessica, they're taking out one of the companies that have been in the Dow Jones almost 100 years. They're, one of the ones that they're taking out, Jess, is Exxon. It's, it really is incredible. And JB, you know, as you suggested, we are familiar with this being a part of That's our right. world. We That's might right. have, I think the average person, average investor might be able to define what it is, but what does it really mean? What does the average, the Dow Jones average really mean to the average investor? You should think of it really as, well, most importantly, it is a price weighted index that is made up of 30 companies but the companies the index this particular index is created by the price per share so some rumors have suggested remember last time we were talking about some splits that were coming about well a major split very popular was with apple and i have heard some in the market some market experts suggest that the dow jones probably approached apple and asked them to do the split because the price per share for apple was so high that it was impacting the dow jones dramatically so we've, so that this adjustment has forced them um, this will not even force them. It has allowed them to take out some of the old and bring in some of the new so that the Dow can really represent to investors a representation of today's economy. So mm. it took out um, Exxon, Pfizer, you know, um, and um, and also Raytheon, and it replaced them with Salesforce, a technology company, along with the Apple that's going to stay, put in some Amgen, and then some Honeywell. You know, so that definitely um, these that were taken out were low price stocks, because remember, the Dow is a price weighted index. So when you're taking out these low price stocks, it doesn't impact the Dow as much. And then when you have the split in Apple, it brings down that major influence of just one company being able to swing the Dow so dramatically. So it just wanted to adjust its weighting. But that is the challenge of a, a price weighted index mm -hmm. because the price, if, it, if a company has a really high um, price, then it's going to um, really have a huge impact on if the Dow goes up or down. And I think, you know, you, and well, most people probably didn't even think about it, but Boeing used to be that company. If, if Boeing was going, doing great, the Dow would move great with it. But if Boeing went down, you know, the Dow would go down with it. But as Boeing actually had some um, adjustments lower, Apple went into a celebration mode. So Apple's had, so Apple really switched positions. And, but that's an indication of today's economy. But none of these names that we're suggesting to everyone at home, this doesn't mean it's time to buy one stock or sell another. 
make sure you talk to your financial advisor about your specific investment needs. And JB, we're, we're out of time, but you've explained this so well. It really does make a difference And keeping it modern, keeping it fresh, obviously yes. talking with your financial advisor to make sure that if you're going to get into the stock market or make some adjustments that it works for you. Yes. Thank you for helping us understand. It's exciting. You, you know, we heard about moving our cheese. So change is good. Change there is you go. Good. There you go. Thank you, Jessica, for the opportunity. Thank you. Uh, Appreciate it. Yep, little adjustment there in the Dow and JB Bryan sharing more information. And now we'll share some so that you can learn more about JB. JB Bryan offers free weekly money seminars and webinars every Wednesday and Sunday evening. You'll find a link for more information at WTVR.com and you can probably ask her, who was Dow? Is Mr. Jones still around? You stick around. We'll be right back with more Virginia this morning.